Hey everyone, this is Aaron Mackle at Herdat, and I'm here today to talk about Yoast SEO's focus key phrase. For our example today, we're going to be using this video about YouTube chapters. So let's just dive into the tool here. You'll see the focus key phrase at the top. As Yoast defines this, it is the search term that you want the page or post to rank for most. For us, our suggestion is that we'd make this the keyword or phrase that best represents the intent that you want to rank for or the topic that you want to rank for, not necessarily a specific word. So in order to do this, we'll look a little bit at keyword research. Here, searching YouTube chapters, we see the volume is 880. Um, as we get down here, we see that how to add chapters to YouTube video and several variations of it are really prominent. So kind of comparing those two things, YouTube chapters has a very diverse um, set of posts and article types for the search result. And that's because the intent isn't super clear. It's very broad. So you'll see news, um, some guides, some how to's, Whereas with the other option, how to add chapters to YouTube videos, we see a very clear intent. So we know what the searchers are looking for, the type of content they want, and optimizing for this is a bit easier. So let's go back to the post and let's use our example of how to add chapters to YouTube videos. I'm gonna plug this in here and you see right away that our ranking turns to green. Um, this is a good sign, but don't, don't let this stop you from publishing if it's not green. It's not the deciding factor. It has no influence whether or not you're gonna rank well. So if you feel like your post is really well optimized and covers a topic well, and kind of the keyword set is very diverse and there's several keywords you need to optimize for, it's okay for this not to be green. Another important note here is that the focus key phrase doesn't have any actual impact on you ranking for the phrase that's that's in there. Uh, Google doesn't know what the focus key phrase is. You're not giving extra emphasis to this phrase. So it's really just for the Yoast tool to help grade your post and provide insights and suggestions moving forward. So now that we have this here, um, let's go down and look at the SEO analysis that the focus key phrase is informing. Um, some of the things we're seeing here is that Yoast is saying we're linking to a key phrase on another page. This isn't something we really have to worry about too much. If you do want only one page talk, talking about a topic or pages not competing with each other, you, you could make an adjustment here. Um, going down here, the key phrase in the title, this is something we will look at. Uh, exact matches in title still can be beneficial. It's not necessary, but um, it is a stronger tactic, especially if you can do it naturally and still get that title that represents what, you're do what you want to achieve. So we're gonna come back to this in a second. Um, the key phrase in the introduction, this is a good idea. Um, if it's really hard to do naturally, if you have a long key phrase, um, which ours is a little bit longer, but we are able to work it in, um, you don't have to force it in there unnaturally. The density, Keyword density in general is something that over time has become less and less important. It's, it's much more about how you optimize the post for the topic and the different keywords you use and the different questions you answer for the user. So if this isn't green, I wouldn't go back and force in keyword mentions. Um, just that's kind of our take on that. Um, the key phrase in the meta description, again, this isn't necessary. The meta description doesn't have any influence over ranking, but if you do include the key phrase or your keyword you're targeting and a searcher uses that phrase, it will be bold in the description. So it helps you stand out a little bit more. Previously used key phrase, this is another one we won't worry about too much. If you talk about uh, a specific topic a lot, that's not a bad thing. So, some businesses are focused around a niche and you're gonna talk about the same topics in different ways over and over again. So it's, it's not an issue to create content around the same topic as long as it has unique value. The key phrase in the subheading, this is something you do wanna work in. Um, the most prominent keywords that you're targeting within a post, you definitely want to have in your subheadings. So this is something I definitely take a look at if it's saying um, there's room for improvement just to evaluate, but again, if it's not green, that's okay. 
And then the key phrase in Slug, again, this is more for the user side of things. Um, if you can create a, a clean Slug that includes the keywords um, that you're targeting and that accurately describes the post that you're working with, that's kind of the best case scenario there. So I said we were gonna come back to this key phrase in the title. This is a great um, point that they've made. Our title here does a good job of including um, close to the keyword we're targeting, but there is room for improvement and we can create an exact match here. So looking at what we have up here, I'm gonna take this, and this was that high volume keyword we identified in our research. And then I'm gonna add and why you should on the end. So here we're getting the exact key phrase that we're targeting. And then I'm providing that additional context about the benefits and um, the definition and, and everything else that comes along with it with this at the end. This is a strong tactic, uh, putting your most important phrase or keyword at the front of a title definitely helps. So um, the tool gave us a great suggestion here and we were able to make a little update based on that. To recap, the focus key phrase doesn't have any actual ranking factors or influence. You don't have to have one if you feel really good about your process and the research you've done and the way you've built it out. You don't even have to use it if you don't want to. Um, and again, if your posts aren't graded green by the tool, don't stress over it. It's, it's not a perfect system. And if you're changing what you've done, which is a strong product just to get a green ranking, that's something we'd advise against. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again.